This video is an overview of the manufacturing output you can get from Stair Designer. So first of all, I've got the 3D window activated. If I go to, well, I could go to File, Print, but I'm just gonna go Print Preview to show you how we'd get a 3D print out of the Stair project. Let's close that. If, however, we have the 2D window active, let's click here. Now we can go into Print Preview. There's an icon here. Let's press this one instead. This gives us our workshop document. I can press this arrow to flick through all the pages of the document. First of all, on page one, we've got a 2D plan of the stair, and then we've got a plan of each step with dimensions. We then get the development of the string boards, the handrails, dimensions of the newel posts, and then the spindles, and then onto the cutting list, and finally, a cost report that also shows the amount of material used in your project. Let's click close. You can also print out one to one or full scale printouts of each part. If we go here to print templates, if you want to build your stair that way. We've got some other ways to export the stair here. Let's go down first to the DXF plan. That's the full stair in 2D in DXF. You'd use this to load into a CAD program as the basis to create full technical documents. And there's also a 3D DXF output, which you can use for enhanced presentation purposes. And up above, we've got DXF output and output of specific files for CNC machines. So this is where we'd output those files. If we want to look at the configuration of the output, we go into Export Options, and here we've got DXF and all the configuration settings available for that, and for WoodWop and so on. So this is where you'd set up the parameters for your specific CNC. If you have the Pro PP version of Stair Designer, you have access to the branded file output for WoodWop, TPA, CAD, BSE Works, and so on. You also have the full extended options for the DXF output. If you have Stair Designer Pro DXF, you don't have the branded machine output and you don't have the extended options for DXF. So that's an overview of the different ways you can output your stair for manufacturing. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.